Hello, you know, one of the uh, things that I think about all the time is in these difficult economic times, what would Jesus do? And uh, as we all know from the Bible stories, he fed a multitude of thousands of hungry people with just a few fishes and a few loaves of bread. And uh, I think that's an exemplary life that we should emulate more every day in our own lives, especially during these very, very tough times. So I'm asking you to contribute a little bit to help people like this, people who are homeless, living out of their cars. I'm sure you've seen them every day in your daily path through life with children who are hungry, afraid. These are very tough times. And we often walk past people that are homeless and broke like this fella here. And he's looking for some help, just a few coins to get him by, get him a cup of coffee, maybe a hamburger. These scenes are all too common. So what would you do if someone came to your door and asked you to help? Would you even open the door? So we're asking you to help in this way, rather than doing nothing and just being like sheep that are going off a cliff. That's the alternative. If you don't help, it could you could be next. So we've got to turn this around. We've got to stop scenes like this. It's not only here in this country, it's all over the world, but we need to help people in this country. Since our government has decided to help people all over the world, we have to now turn to our own people, children. They should never go hungry in America. There's 14 million of them that do every day. Won't you help? Just a little handout of food. That's what you're asking, we're asking you to do. Give us the funding to give a little handout of food here and there as much as we can. All the funds raised will go to churches, local community organizations, food banks, Meals on Wheels, that kind of thing. Anyone who's helping the needy, we want to help them with your contributions. So this is what, you know, this man did, we think we ought to emulate him. So give it a give it a donation, any kind of contributions will be greatly appreciated. We'll turn the money into food from I'm in the food business, so I'll buy food from my own company because I can get it wholesale, make it go a little faster, a little longer, stretch it a bit. We'll stretch your dollars by buying the food wholesale and giving it to local churches and communities like yours, food food banks, Meals on Wheels, any nonprofit that's helping the needy. And if you can do more, you can go to my website, purchase some food yourself, and give it to local churches that you know are helping the needy. You may belong to some. You may be a church or a fundraising <coughs> organization or a food bank or, or volunteer for them. You can also buy some food at my website and then hand it out to anyone you think is in need or an organization who knows where they are and who they are. This is how we're leveraging every dollar that we raise. And it even goes further than that. Every uh, 10 meals that we sell, one meal is given away to local uh, food charities and churches and food banks. So we're a company that has the right mission, the mission of this guy, to serve and share and save as many families as we can. And we're doing a pretty darn good job of it getting food into the hands of millions of families, well, 
it's not millions yet, but tens of thousands of families so far. We've only been around about two years. But we're expanding into more and more families and helping them every month. So if you can contribute in that way, or a little cash to the fundraising program, either way will help. We'll get food to those who need it most. And we appreciate your help very much. God bless.